Standing still, even on a battlefield like this, it's as if you're inviting my. No, that dress is inviting a lance. Carica. Run, 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 I run! Not. Oh shit, she's gonna use her purple again. Ah! <laughs> What's wrong? I'm waiting. I can't move. You're purple. It's too strong. I'm not truly so helpless. Perhaps you were weaker than I thought. I, I catch your dragon's ass. Weak? Don't give me that. We all yeah, see? Your dragon. What does that make you? Pardon? You believe you fell, Trishula? <laughs> oh no, it What's was so faking or you something. You have barely seen a fraction of Trishula's might. Why? <laughs> Rise, my dragon. I shall grant you power anew. Oh my... Her... Her lance is like an oboe or something. You will pay for that, humans. I just stick my tongue out. It's... Coming back to life? Yep. <laughs> Roar! Oh no, was I near him? That resonance... Is that her harmonic? Armonic. Now you see, dragon and harmonic <laughs> oh united to grant each other supreme power. That is the true might of a dragoneer. Uh, then we'll just beat it down again. I don't think that's gonna help, Sophia. I see you are persistent, if nothing else. Yeah. Huh? But you forget one crucial detail. What's that, hun? There are three spears under my command, and Trishula is but one. Oh shit. <laughs> His tongue sticking out is still hilarious to me. Oh, yeah, there's the other assholes. Yep. What? Indeed. Go. Uh oh. I don't know what's happening, but it's fucking something. Oh shit! They, they faded us. They must have been devastating. Hardly worth the effort. I can't even I can't even put forth the effort to stand in a different pose. This is boring me so I'm much. So intent on rescuing this boy. Who is he? Your dad. Your Highness, are you alright? Yes, perfectly fine. Seize them. Yes, your highness. So she's the princess? Dragon's gonna be all like <sighs> They're taking me back. Let me if kick I their can't ass. Stop them. I didn't want to escape anyway. Just have to stay in my cell. Just have to stay quiet. Yuma. Quiet. Indeed. Perhaps you will return to your prison. Perhaps the experiments will continue. Uh-huh. Or but what of the girls? Oh. What do you mean? Your would-be rescuers are of no use to the Empire. There would be no point... This dragon the is fucking trials. good at manipulation. After you have been like, legit. Away, whether by the soldier's hand or the Draco Machina, Draco Machina. these two will die. Every time. Ugh. No. Damn it, I have to do something. But what can I do? Need you ask... You know exactly what you can do. Use your super special awesome powers. The power of the dragon? No! If I use that, then... Refuse, if you wish. That is your choice. 
What does it matter to me if two reckless girls meet their ends? Yeah, well. It sounds like you feel the same, Yuma. Ooh. Dragon's calling you out, no, bitch. Of course not. I can't just abandon them. Then do something. Oh, cutscene! It's the scene from the intro sequence! <gasps> I'm a dragon! Impossible. That boy's a dragon? It's so big. I can't stop making it. Oh, the sword is my horn. Oh, that's cool. You want us to get on? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying now, to make you choke. I'm not. I'm not trying to make jokes, but they keep happening. <laughs> <laughs> they won't. So fuck you guys, I'm out. All right, well, that happened. <laughs> Gaybolg and Gungnir, fuck you. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. No, I'm stopping this whole thing. What the fuck is a Trishula? Because if the other two are named Gaybolg and Gungnir, I need to know what Trishula is. Dragon of the Ice Barrier, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card? <laughs> Google. Trishula is a trident commonly used as the sim principle. They're, 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 they're literally, no, move. They're literally the three spears of the empire. I, Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Okay. All right. But at great risk. How so? That was the shining dragon. Our nemesis. He who fought us in the fires of Just throwing out terminology. If we are to face him again, we must prepare for the So which one is what? I'm assuming Gables is the ice one. Gabolg. And uh, Gungnir is the lightning one. Because that would make sense. Because Odin and all that. I forget exactly where Gable comes the from. Shining dragon. Its power is legend. Damn right. Our records say it was the greatest of the world dragons. World dragons. Then no. I rescind my order. I'll not risk your lives in a reckless charge. We will strike when we are better prepared. Sounds good. I never imagined Alfheim would present such revelations so soon. Cool. The question is, is this an omen of our fortune or our doom? Huh. You know what? Massive respect to the villain who's willing to back down. For legitimate reasons, not like, I'll let them go, but like legitimately Long fearful. Ago. The people spoke of a sacred island. Uh-huh. A sea-bound holy land where Deus dwelled. Alfheim. You mean God? Is Deus God? Since time immemorial, the high elves of this island lived in peace with dragons. Dragons. Using mystic rune songs to commune with their mighty allies. Okay. Yet, this peace did not last. Deus, a force more powerful than any dragon, looked upon this world with the some dead, kind of godlike being to build yes a new world atop the old okay yeah all right high elves who were loyal to the dragons did battle with their kin who stood beside deus chaos 
Suffering. War spread forth from the Holy Land. A shadow to cover the entire world. Okay. After centuries of carnage, the dragons finally claimed victory yeah. and sealed Deus away. The war had been won, but at what cost? I can't help but notice that dragon is like way bigger than me. I'm pointing at the white one. Like ages of war had left I get the feeling that I am a very low level shining dragon. For the dragons left their home to seek peace in a new life on the mainland. In the thousand years since that war's end, mm -hmm. it came to be known as Ragnarok. Of course it did. It's always Ragnarok. If not, Over like, some other followed, mythological and battle. Alfheim, the land darkened by war grew bright again, and humans soon came to settle in its newly fertile fields. Hum were humans These mentioned at all in that opening section? Astoria, and its dominion grew to span all of Alfheim. Okay. <laughs> However, ten years ago, the trumpets of war sounded across the sea once again. And Alfheim was invaded by the largest nation of the mainland, the Lombardian Empire. That's somewhat similar. I shouldn't do my S's the like that. That's somewhat similar to the plot of the, the original Shining Force game, the first one. The defenders lost more and more ground by the day, until over half the. Although it was more like a sudden attack, and then you kind of pushed them back. Look at that stupid tower up there. Yet, a story of Look at all these areas we're going to explore. Stalemate, thanks to the military support of the Elven Kingdom of Welland. Thanks, Welland. Of the mainland and neighbor to the Empire. Okay. Boats. Astoria like I can just see victory. zones. There's the tower. Warriors, warriors who wield harmonics. Harmonics. Gifted to mortals long <gasps> ago by a dragon. Ugh. Ugh. What's that sun? <laughs> that dragon. He who forged the armonics was oh, and granted those That's why I'm orders, smaller. Was the almighty shining dragon. The blue eyed the shining dragon. Now inhabits the body of a boy named Yuma. Who's telling the story? It is here <laughs> and now. As the shining dragon soars through the storm and skies. That our story begins. This is where the story begins. So we're gonna get a flashback to explain how I came to be in jail, or oh, cool! End end of uh, chapter saved, sir. Always fun. Save complete. Am I might gonna get the intro sequence again? Cause I'd prefer it if I didn't. No, okay, OP2. OP. 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 Melgius Cathedral. That's a name of a place. Your Highness, this is Ooh, unexpected. look at this madass. I appreciate that their, like, royal armor color is purple. I'm not here to inspect your They look properly evil. And it matches her then to what magic she can throw out. How long have military operations in Alfheim gone on now, Georg? Georg. Eight? No, nine years. I was actually wondering how it was pronounced. Nine years to see the Emperor's, my father's, will done. And somehow, victory yet eludes us. The Emperor wishes to convey his impatience. He desires So yeah, she results. is the princess. To that end, I come bearing the burden of command. By the Emperor's will. The invasion of Alfheim continues under my supreme authority. Your Beowulf now opens Beowulf? Is Beowulf attention. another dragon or a, an I army? We of Beowulf, ah, they're knights. Sanguine, cool. Have thus far failed in delivering our emperor his conquest. If his majesty has seen fit to grant us a second chance, though undeserving, we humbly accept. Um, I appreciate it of you, Georg. Let's not speak of apologies and humility. Instead, let us speak of plans. Sensible villains! Holy shit! To my menial, as commander, 
I admit confusion on a matter I'd like explained. This boy, the alleged bearer of the Shining Dragon. I've reviewed all your compiled intelligence, and yet, not one report in the lot mentioned the dragon at all. Not even in passing. Hmm. Explain this to me. Curiosity indeed. We judge that information unfit to be reported on your highness. Oh, oh, fuck you. Not worth reporting? Surely I misheard. The mightiest of his kin, a legend amongst even other dragons. You mean to tell me the discovery of the shining <laughs> dragon himself? I like this girl. I like her. Perhaps it's best I let the man I assigned to it explain. Joachim? Joachim? Yes, yes. Oh, fuck you. Query. We oh, the child fuck. Possessed the shining dragon, so we acquired Oh, yes. you. Oh, wow. We've since spent you. a great deal of time observing his growth, <laughs> but sadly we were unable to detect the shining dragon's energy signature. Okay. He still was able to channel pure dragon energy on his own, however. I was in the midst of running tests for that at the time. So hopefully it's clear why we chose as we did. The official reports are reserved for confirmed, verified intelligence only. Fair enough. Hmm. I see. I'll remember your discretion as I conduct my new duties. Okay. I have a situation here. If you'll point your eyes towards the upper right of the screen where her face is. Uh, F Future Biscuit, zoom in on this if you can. Did you do it? Okay. Is that a hole in her bow? Or is her hair clipping through her model? Because you'd think if this was the model we were going to be seeing for 90% of the game, probably, they'd make sure it didn't look like that? Am I insane? I'm probably insane. Still... The Shining Dragon. Can this power of mine tame even you, I wonder? Oh, she wants to tame me, huh? Well, I am wearing the collar. You're talking about the Shining Dragon in here? Like the special... Oh, God, one. now who? Is he really all that? <sighs> Who's this? Zest? You're late. Oh, my God. One edge lord after another here. You're not wearing purple. And show some respect. I'll not tolerate your lip in the presence of her highness. Seriously. Already crawling up my back, Jorg. I'm not gonna be rude. Promise. You're not wearing your purple uniform, I see. Already. Whoa. Hey, princess. You brought your Draco Machina with you, right? So between them and the Shining Dragon, who do you think is stronger, huh? Between the Shining Dragon and my three spears? I cannot say. He fled before any true test of strength could be had. But the Spears have already communed with me on this matter. They prescribe caution in dealing with him. Nothing more. Mm hmm I see. So he might actually be fun to play around with, is what uh. you're saying. Like if your big fancy machina aren't up to snuff. Um... Zest, I told you to mind your tongue. Yeah, I... Right. Just calling it like I see it. This is... Zest. This is one of those situations where it's like, your ass is so demoted. Go. <laughs> to, from whatever position you're currently in. Jorg, who was that man? A douche. Uh, oh, Zest. Ah, oh, he's yes, a lieutenant. My strongest lieutenant. Strongest of all the Knights Sanguine, in fact. I see. Oh, he's one of those guys where he's so strong, nothing challenges him Unless, anymore. Unfortunately, he has a certain temperament. As his captain, I regret to report his mood swings are difficult to work around. I bet. Hmm. I thought I felt a measure of power in him. If he's as unruly as you say, that is misfortunate. Well, no. That matter. is misfortunate. I have concluded my business here huh. for the day. It's a weird way of phrasing that. Planning on the morrow. Thy will be done, Highness. Before you go, though. Beatrice. Who the fuck is Beatrice? Oh, it's Stand you. By, sir. Ah, she's a ninja. You can tell from her big purple ninja shark backpack. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice you didn't bring your retainers, Highness. Please, I would have you employ Beatrice instead. You'll find. Ever, this is bullshit because you know the best kind of ninja is a rat man. My name is Beatrice. It will, of course, be my pleasure to serve your Highness. 
No, I guess it's just a bow. It kind of looked like a shark a to me. How a bender of shadow. Well it's a fucking you ninja. I <laughs> will be done. With me then. Let's be off. Everyone knows ninjas are better when they expose your belly button. You could never see it from the specific angle, but Slade always had his ninja belly button open. Make sure her every need is seen to. Something like that? Well, how can you... Mm. Something like that. Mmm, yes. I don't trust that guy. He's cool. Like his design. Also, she had purple on her. Just less purple. So she's automatically better than Zest. Zest can go fuck himself. You call this place Grand Seal and we're cool, Shining Resonance. <gasps> Flashback. Who dat? Does it still hurt? You're safe now. You're I safe promise. now, I promise. What's going on? Okay. I see. I'm having a dream, which means this is back then. Please. I know it hurts, but you can't move. Uh-huh. Oh. No, no, no. If you're in that much pain. Oh, I know. I'll cast a spell to numb the pain, all right? Just hold still a moment longer. Here goes. Ready? This is going to be really stupid, isn't it? That's right. I remember now. That girl, she... That girl. Her name, why can't I... Remember? Huh. Okay. Um, okay. <sighs> Just watch me sleep, you creepo. Oh, your radiance. You're awake. W where? And I was just sleeping fully. Oh, I mean, at least I was still sleeping fully clothed. You're in Marga, your radiance. The royal capital of Astoria. I see. And you're a. Uh, Kirika, right? Kirika Toa Alma of Wellant. I'm also known as the Diva Magica. Please. Call me Kirika, every, every time. She's going to say the full goddamn thing. All right, Kirika. Nice to meet you. Diva like a singer, right? That song before. Just what is it? Well, if Magica? a diva is a singer and you put magic on... <laughs> Logic. Oh, originally we were translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and dragons. Okay. Communicating will and win. Yeah, okay. And you were shepherds still and the stuff. World, there was peace. They spoke to us, taught us, sang to us in their ancient rune songs. <laughs> Dovakin, Dovakin, da 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 da. So the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty. We divas still play the songs in remembrance. It's weird that the songs of remembrance and the songs of the earth are J pop. A new diva magic it's a little weird. From a very early age, not just to master rune songs. Rune songs, sorry, lore, not songs of the earth. Texts. That's how it was for me, anyway. I applied myself to my training, but it always felt off, empty. <laughs> and now that you're in my life, everything has meaning again. I always knew you returned to us. <laughs> That's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and and now you're really here. I'm, I'm being a little rough, but I'm just getting it all out of the way right now. allowed zeal to overcome me. Please, if I may serve you in any capacity, only say so. Um, okay. Kirika, you know I'm not actually the Shining Dragon, right? My name is... I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly form, but in fleshly spirit, form. you are the Shining Dragon. 
okay, I'm the shining dragon. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know I mean, whatever, whatever you say. Is there anyone else I can talk to to maybe get you as far the hell away from me as possible? Have someone looking after me. Obtained Kirika's trait, Dragon Believer. Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Hello, random elf lady. Oh, he's awake? Mom! Mom! <laughs> okay, okay. And that was Primula. Her mother Emma runs this place. Ah, uh, the Seagull Inn, I should say. Ah. Mom, look! Oh my, good to see you. You don't get full dear. character models. That's quite the fright when you wouldn't wake up, you know. You know. I, oh, dearie me. Um, <laughs> thank you for looking after me, ma'am. Breakfast is ready, so why don't you come down and put something in your stomach? Oh, and the princess is here. Best not make her wait. Oh, why don't you come down and put something in your stomach over here? We're gonna take real good care of you, tell you what. Don't the you know? <laughs> in time, your radiance. I think you'll understand after you two have spoken. So is, is Sophia the princess as well as the captain of the knights? Is that what's gonna happen? Yeah. Hey, good morning. You had a rough night. Were you able to rest up? Hmm. What's wrong? Hmm. You seem confused. I, uh... She said I was oh. supposed to be meeting a princess down here. So, does that mean... That you're the princess? Oh, for the love of... Hey, Emma. I told you not to call me princess in town. Yeah, Emma. Hmm? Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry, dear. Story, I left out your secret identity there, princess. Don't you know how ho ho howdy ho Hold on. You're... no way. You're a princess? But you're wearing armor and you fight with the sword! What? Like it's that hard to believe? Here, why don't you let me introduce myself? Sonia I'm sorry, Prince. Sonia. Crown princess God, Astoria I got Yumi and Yuna all over friend. again. Pleased to meet you. Sonia, Kirika... I'm not even gonna bother with the other names. M my name is Yuma Ilvern, your highness. Zest, because he's an asshole. Profound honor to me. Oh, he's all no, nervous. None of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonia. She doesn't want to be treated like a high and mighty princess. You got it. But uh, what's the crown princess kicking around a regular old inn for? I don't know. What's the shining dragon doing in a jail cell? We're the top inn in the city, thank you. And we've even got Dragoneer staying here. Why don't you have your mother's accent there, dear? <laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the Dragoneers caretaker. Dragoneers? That's what Excella and Kirika Excella. are, right? Are you a Dragoneer? Excella, too? Kirika, Sonia, Yuma, Zest, uh, no, Georg. It's more like I'm <sighs> in training to become one. So I'm gonna forget all of this in a, in a few hours, anyways. So, um, Yuma, weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? Your future? Um. Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle. Please stop calling else. me his radiance. You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yuma? No. 